First we'll have the frac sand, a sample of uh, refined, complete frac sand. So the level now in the room, in this room now is three, the standard is 12, long-term 12. So we're, we're, we're bringing pretty good air here. So we turn this upside down and get a little sample here. We should see some elevation. Yep, we're actually up at 50, 70, back down to 40. So again, even with the refined frac sand, there's still some small particulates. Now let's look at the stuff that is from Wisconsin sandstone, the complete sandstone. And we invert this, and this has a whole bunch of different particle sizes. We look here and we see levels of 176, 320, 170, 346, 457, 503. So it's because this, this whole sandstone has all the particle sizes, it also has the ones we're most concerned about. When companies refine and take this sand to use in North Dakota, they leave behind the fine particulates we're most concerned about. The other point I just wanted to make in this demonstration is, did you see a big puff of smoke when I inverted it? It's very difficult. We actually have to use instruments like these to measure the fine particles. So I actually have to do the monitoring because the particles are 1 20th the size of human hair. So we actually need instruments to do that. And Ethan, if you could talk about our next step that we've been doing the last couple months. So, so right here we have um, our dichotomous air sampler. Uh, it's EPA certified and it, op it um, operates on um, very much the same principle that this dust track does, except um, it separates um, uh, the fractions of particles through uh, virtual impactors. So instead of uh, the larger particles hitting a plate and just sticking there, um, the larger particles go straight down this uh, and into a um, into a coarse fraction. So that would be uh, particulate matter that's uh, 10 microns in size and smaller. Um, and then the uh, smaller particles uh, get diverted to uh, a fine uh, section, uh, a fine filter, uh, which uh, we use to uh, determine the concentration of PM 2.5. So it's important to note the difference. We use this a dust track to do a survey. If a community is concerned, we come in and use the dust track too. If they want to do long-term monitoring, which is what EPA would recognize, we bring in these kinds of EPA certified instruments, which are more sensitive. And inside here we have a filter, I know it's difficult to see, and we weigh this filter before and after the 24-hour sampling. We also extract the crystalline silica. So we're getting a measurement of the, the big particle size, the small particle size, and the silica in both. And again, this is EPA recognized. So it has more validity, more weight if we have to go to court, for example.